Okay, welcome back. And now we're going to be looking uh, at the grape varieties uh, that make up uh, Bordeaux. So, Bordeaux, when you think of Bordeaux, you've got to think of a few grape varieties and you've got to think of, of something which is called the Bordeaux blend. Uh, a, a blend, uh, for those of you who, who don't know what a blend is, is uh, a, a, a cocktail, if you wish, a, a putting together of wines from different grape varieties. And we put them to, together, uh, we blend them to reach a final product, uh, uh, which is a Bordeaux blend. Bordeaux blend, so when you hear of Bordeaux blend, typically you're going, uh, it means Cabernet and Merlot. So Cabernet and Merlot, it can be Cabernet, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc and Merlot. This blend together is the Bordeaux blend. It's the red Bordeaux blend. There's also white Bordeaux wines and they're also often blends. But here we're looking at the Bordeaux blend. And Bordeaux blend, th there's something to recognize. There's a little uh, trick that I'd like to teach you to recognize a Bordeaux blend and it's the shape of the bottle. Okay, now I told you that the English had a very big influence on the Bordeaux wine trade uh, and they introduced the 75 CL bottle, having before that introduced the glass bottle. Now Bordeaux has had an influence uh, on uh, the rest of the world as well with uh, the Bordeaux blend and with the type of bottle that's used to create that Bordeaux blend. So one little trick I've got for you is um, if you see a bottle uh, uh, of this kind, so this is a wonderful uh, Bordeaux, a Saint-Emilion, this shape of bottle, can you see it? It's um, a unique shape. This is gonna be very much uh, a Bordeaux blend bottle, typically. So typically these wines in bottles that are shaped like this are going to be deep, intense red wines um, that have good tannins. Most of the time it's going to be Cabernet or Merlot or a blend of Cabernet and Merlot. So this is uh, just a little trick that I'd like to show you. So this is the Bordeaux bottle, okay? Then we have the Rhone bottle. The, sorry, I beg your pardon, the Burgundy bottle. Burgundy bottle, can you see how the shape of the bottle is slightly different? So uh, we, we, we've got a, the, the shoulder of the bottle isn't quite the same, uh, different shape. And these are often going to be uh, Pinot Noir, so lighter wines, and, uh, and Gamay. Uh, so uh, typically um, uh, Beaujolais wines are also going to come in this bottle. And then finally, we've got the, um, the um, Rhone bottle. Uh, uh, so slightly taller, uh, slightly less of an angle. Uh, it's, it's, it's going to be slightly more in this shape. This is the Rhone bottle, very slight, you can't see it. The, 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 this is, is, is a tiny little bit lower than the Burgundy bottle. And these are going to be wines that are going to be um, uh, uh, the, the, the Rhone blend. So we're often going to have uh, Syrah uh, or Shiraz in these types of bottles, or we're going to have Grenache in these types of bottles. So just one little, uh, just one little trick, one little, one, one little thing I wanted to show you about what the shape of the bottle is going to say. So in Bordeaux wine, um, we have the Bordeaux blend. It's going to be. It's going to come in this bottle. This is the Bordeaux bottle, um, and the different grape varieties that are found in uh, Bordeaux red are Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc. So the two Cabernets. I told you that the Bordeaux blend is Cabernet Sauvignon or Cabernet Franc with Merlot. So Merlot, another very important grape variety. We then have Malbec. So yeah, Malbec. Although in Bordeaux, it's more often called Cote and not Malbec, Cote, C-O-T, Cote. Then we have uh, Petit Verdot and another grape variety that we have is Carmenere, Carmenere, uh, a, a grape variety that you probably associate with Chile. It's, um, it went to Chile from Bordeaux and funnily enough, it was only in the, in the 80s that Chile discovered that Carmenere was its own grape variety, a grape variety 
that they thought for a very long time was Merlot, but it wasn't, it was Carmenere. Uh, and Carmenere is kind of making a bit of a comeback in the Bordeaux region. It had disappeared with Phylloxera. Um, it was one of those grape varieties that, uh, that d wasn't very successful uh, with the rootstock, so it kind of disappeared, kind of lost favor. We're seeing a bit more uh, Carmenere now. So those are the main uh, red uh, grape varieties in Bordeaux. We're going to look um, at which ones are more present in each uh, of the um, sub-regions the, in the next few videos. But Bordeaux is not only uh, a, a region that makes red wines. It also makes some sp splendid white wines, both dry and sweet. So first of all, we have uh, Entre deux mer uh, is renowned for its uh, for its it's a white wine uh, appellation. We have the Grave and the Pessac Léonien region making wonderful whites, and these whites are going to be a blend of again very often a blend, not always, but very often a blend between Sauvignon Sauvignon Blanc, Sémillon Sémillon, and uh, Muscadel. So Muscadel a bit less used, uh, and Sémillon a bit less used, big dominance of Sauvignon for the dry wines. When we go to sweet wines, we then have Sémillon and Muscadel a lot more present. But we're gonna go into that a, a bit in a, in a bit more depth because what you want for sweet wines is pourriture noble, gray rot. It's a rot that goes uh, onto the grape and the, uh, the Sémillon is much more, um, uh, and Muscadel are much more used uh, for that purpose. Okay, that's pretty much it for our, our, um, our look into the geography. But before we finish off this module, the, the, the geography and the influence, but before we finish off this module, I'd like uh, to go back to the 1855 classification uh, and, and a look uh, at the different classifications of uh, Bordeaux appellations and the different classifications the, uh, that there are uh, and there have been in the past to attempt to uh, class wines in quality. Uh, so we're going to look at that in our next video.